friends welcome back if you are new my name is Nikki we're gonna jump in to one of the best all over the place Goodwill outlet hauls I have ever had um, I spent $43.35 on all of this stuff here in Los Angeles we pay $2.89 a pound which I am pretty sure is one of the most expensive bins locations in the country if not the most I know that uh, the Pacific Northwest I think you guys pay close to what we pay but everywhere else I've traveled it's way, way more reasonable Texas New Jersey I've been to the bins in a lot of places let's jump in friends stick around because I got this is one of the best bins hauls I, I'm just super excited first up Chico's this is a 100% linen Chico's top in a size 2. If you are new here, hi, we have a ton of new subscribers from that brand's video. I think I'm going to do another one, you guys, because we got a ton of new subscribers. Thank you if you're new. I love selling mall brands. I love picking them up at the bins, and I love when they are 100% linen, 100% cotton. I, will, I am not above a $20 to $30 flip. All day I sell everything here I sell high-end I sell mall brands um, I sell everything so whenever I find Chico's <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those rare resellers when I find Chico's at the bins hundred percent linen it's almost an automatic pickup for me as long as it's not stained or damaged you guys I'm all about it um, I could probably easily sell that for like I said like eh, 20 to 30 bucks when I looked up comps at the bins, the 100% linen tops in the bigger sizes were flipping anywhere from $30 to $40. But, you know, comps can change. J. Jill, another, like, would that be considered a mall brand? Yeah, I see J. Jill at the mall. It's like a higher-end, mid-tier mall brand. Looks like Goodwill was originally charging um, $10.49 for these. They're a size 14. They have some stretch. I love selling J. Jill. I don't pick up all the pieces, but I like selling the bigger sizes, uh, the jeans, the dresses. I'm a big fan of J. Jill. You're gonna see in the next brands video, I'm gonna talk about J. Jill, a lot of mall brands. This is a brand I don't find a lot um, here in Los Angeles. It's Vineyard Vines. This is a smaller size, but I thought this was a perfect dress for summer. It's a size extra small. And I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. I get excited when I find that, yeah, it's 100% cotton. So I get excited, <laughs> you guys. We do have some high-end stuff in here. I'm talking like really high-end that we're gonna get to. And that is, of course, super exciting to find, especially when I, because I live in a city that they mark up everything. <laughs> like when you go to tradition, I shouldn't say everything, but when you go to traditional thrift stores here in LA, they know the high-end brands. They mark it up, and I'm not talking like 20 bucks. I'm talking like 50, 60, 70. I showed you guys recently when I went to um, a thrift store, they were charging $100 for a St. John blazer. So I get excited finding high-end stuff at the bins, but I also get excited finding stuff like Chico's 100% linen or Vineyard Vines 100% cotton because those are just like quicker flips for me that'll probably sell faster than the higher-end stuff. The higher-end stuff, of course, it's great. It sells but it's gonna take that right buyer to come along. So I love that stuff all day. This is a brand I have never heard of. Um, I looked up comps and I didn't see any listed on eBay. So I don't know if this was like a handmade thing. The brand is Fab India. It's F-A-B-I-N-D-I-A. It's 100% cotton and it's made in India. And I just thought the print was beautiful. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. It's like these really pretty red roses. It looks like initially Goodwill wanted seven bucks. It didn't sell, so it ended up at the bins. I will be listing that myself. Hey, that's probably a piece that's gonna take a while to sell, maybe a year, maybe two. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna sell. And whenever I find items that are 100% cotton, 100% linen, <laughs> I'm out of breath, you guys. If you're new, <laughs> I'm at the tail end of my pregnancy. This kid, he measured like eight pounds two weeks ago and I'm 38 weeks, so he's just a big boy. So I'm trying to talk to you guys, but it's like, <sighs> so I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. He'll be out soon. You can take your time, stay as long as you need, but I'm not opposed to you coming out. <laughs> Once he's out, I'll be able to talk normally again. All right, Charter Club, another mall brand. <laughs> Listen, 
I just, I love selling mod brands. I did a video on it. I will link it down below. I wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags. It looks like this one retailed for $49.50. Just a really pretty black, um, 100% cotton top. And it's like a little, it's not cropped, but you can tie it at the bottom. Goodwill wanted $12.99. It didn't sell. Haha, <laughs> Goodwill, that's what you get from marking Shiznat up. And it got it at the bins. I got it at the bins for like two bucks. So super excited. Yeah, and it's 100% cotton. You can't beat that. That'll probably sell fairly quickly. Like eh, maybe a couple months. I did look up the sell through rate. There were quite a bit listed. But when I'm getting things at the Goodwill outlet, I'm kind of more lenient on sell through rate. Um, okay, more mall brands. J. Crew. These are size 36, great size. They are blue and white striped. Sorry, I think I just hit the mic. They're cropped and they're 100% cotton and it's reimagined J. Crew, inspired by the planet and its people. That's sweet. So it's 98% cotton, 2% elastane. And they're in great condition, you guys. So I. I don't know if I want to send these to thread up, RIP thread up, or sell them myself. I'd probably sell those myself. Thread up, thread up, thread up. I don't even, so many of you have asked me to make a video like updated on selling on thread up. I don't want to, you guys. Thread up's just so annoying. They literally changed their selling policies without giving us any warning or like very little amount of warning, like a couple days. Um, they keep adding on new fees to sell on their site. So just follow me on Instagram. I, I'm not trying to like just pro, like promote my Instagram, but that's where I'll make like quick videos about thread up updates or like what's been selling for me. I do, I do still sell there. I just don't want to make a whole separate video on it. I'm sorry, you guys. I know a lot of you found me years ago through my thread up videos, but they're just such an unstable platform that I don't even feel like videos I could make now would be helpful. I could probably do some thread up hauls though, if you guys want, because I do. Um... Now, I don't know, you guys, they just get on my nerves. <laughs> We could talk about it on another time. I got this for new baby boy, new baby boy, baby boy number two. This is 18 to 24 months. It's baby gap um, and it's adorable. So I love shopping for my children. That sounds so weird to say. I'm already gonna be a mom of two, but I love buying thrifted clothes for the kids and I just uh, wash it and we're good to go. Um, if you've been around since my first pregnancy, you know, like 80 or 90% of his wardrobe was from the bins and thrift stores. Okay. So these are Joe's jeans. I don't pick these up very often anymore, especially in a skinny straight leg. Goodwill wanted $14.99. They ended up at the bins. They are a size 29 and they're called the Icon Mid-Rise Skinny Ankle. I used to love sending these to thread up. I still do occasionally and I'll make a couple bucks profit. So that's what I might do with those. I picked up this 100% silk robe for myself. It is in perfect condition. It's black. I love you guys know I am a silk and cashmere snob. If I find silk and cashmere in good condition at the bins, like 99% of the time I keep it for <laughs> I keep it for myself. I really shouldn't because I could probably resell this for quite a bit. Looks like Goodwill wanted $9.99 and then it ended up at the bins. So that is for moi. I, um, I don't like washing silk. I have and you just put it on like a bag on delicate, but I'll probably dry clean that because I have a lot of stuff I get dry cleaned for real estate because uh, I work in real estate and so I might just throw that in the dry cleaner. This is um, Caslon, which is a house brand at Nordstrom. This has a huge hole in it. So if you are new here, I'm gonna tell you a little trick. My oldies but my goldies have been hearing me talk about this for years. If you are a Goodwill outlet shopper and you find um, damaged silk, like this one has a huge tear under the armpit, damaged cashmere, I can't tell you every single time I go to the bins, I find damaged cashmere or silk, you lot it up, so put like 10 of them together, sell it on eBay. I've, I don't think I've ever sold it on Poshmark. Sell it on eBay, you guys. And in the title, you put crafters lot because th those are the people that are gonna use this fabric, people that are doing crafts. And they will pay great money for this stuff. I just sold a lot of damaged cashmere, silk, and wool. Sometimes I'll just lot them up together and list out what's what, like two wool sweaters. Uh, I had like five silk tops and so on and so forth. 
I got those from the bins, all from the bins. I think total was like 22 bucks for all 10 items. Sold it for $120, you guys. $120, because think about it. If these crafters went to the stores and tried to buy this stuff, it would be so much money. These fabrics are very expensive. So I know some of you are tired of hearing me preach that, but we have a lot of new people and I just wanna share the wealth. I probably shouldn't be sharing all my tips, but you're here to learn. I'm here to help you out. All right, this one is Moth by Anth Anthropology, extra small, and this is 100% wool. I might actually sell this myself because I don't see any flaws. I kept looking. I was gonna add it to my crafters lot, but I don't see any flaws, so I might actually sell that myself. That might take a while to sell. I'm filming this in May. <laughs> There's not a ton of people looking for wool, but I always tell you guys, I sell everything year round because I sell on an international website. It's cold somewhere in the world. I sell bikinis in December and I sell literally, I just sold a winter coat yesterday. So I don't wait to list things. I get it listed, I get it out of my house in my storage unit and it sells when it sells. Studio M, I only picked this up because it is 100% linen, it is a size large. And like I said, 100% linen. If you have anything right now that is linen, get it listed. I'm not gonna make a ton of money on this, maybe 20, 25 bucks, but actually I should probably keep this. This would be good postpartum, but I have so much linen stuff, so picked that up. I did pick this up for myself to wear during maternity, and then I never wore it, because I already have so many work clothes. This is Calvin Klein, it's non-iron. It's a size 14 white button up. I always need white button ups for work, but I never wore it and I'm basically about to have the baby. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll send it to thread up. Should have worn that. Um, this is another brand I've never heard of. Niru Kumar. It's N-E-E-R-U. It's size medium. This dress is gorgeous. Looks like Goodwill. Oh no, it doesn't have a Goodwill tag. I think this was 100% cotton. I looked up comps on eBay and there were only like two, dress list, two dresses listed when I looked it up. Yeah, it's 100% cotton um, and none sold. So this may take a while to sell, but I just thought it was so unique. And it's size medium, it's beautiful, it's 100% cotton, so I love finding unique pieces like this. Lorna Jane is a, I think it's an expensive activewear line that's just not as popular as like Lululemon or Gymshark or Viore, but they've been around a while. I like their stuff, so I picked this up for myself um, because I always need workout clothes. Also picked this up for myself. If you are new here, I always tell you guys, I pick up stuff at the bins for my family, for myself, for work. Like, um, I bought this to film in because I just thought it would look nice when I'm filming a YouTube video or I go live. Goodwill wanted $6.99. I got it at the bins. It is from Zara and it's a size medium. Got this for baby boy, a cute little flannel. It's nine months. I'll wash that, we'll be good to go. You guys, I was not going to buy this. My mom watches all of my videos. She made me buy this. I was like, mom, I don't really want to buy a Halloween costume from the bins because I don't know if I could wash it. But my son, Zane, he is two and a half and he loves Sesame Street and he loves Cookie Monster and Elmo. And this is the full Cookie Monster, <laughs> the full Cookie Monster Halloween costume. And it's a three to four T. I just bought it to appease my mom. She's like, you have to get it. Zane will love it. So I picked it up. Um, this is a onesie for baby boy, 12 to 18 months, 100% cotton. Can't beat it at Ben's pricing. Picked up these Paige jeans. These are a size 23. Again, I don't pick up Paige at traditional thrift stores, especially here because they mark them up and they're skinny. Certain styles I will pick up. Um, Paige jeans are very expensive. They retail like anywhere from like 150. I've seen some up to like 400 for like the leather. So retail for a lot, resale. So I might send those to, those to thread up. I'm not really sure why I picked those. <laughs> Every time I go to the bins, I always tell you guys, I'm very honest. Like sometimes you just pick stuff up, at least me, because I'm already there. I don't get to go to the bins often. At this point, I go like once or twice a month. So if I'm already there, a lot of times I'll pick up stuff that I usually wouldn't buy but I'm like, I'm here, it's kind of like a filler item. Let me just stock up. I can send it to thread up if the comps don't look great. Another 
pair of J. Jill jeans. These must have been from the same lady because they're a size 14. They're the stretch, and I will sell those myself. This one I only picked up because it's 100% cotton. It's just like a boutique brand, I think. Olivia's. Olivia's, size small, and they're 100. Are they cotton or linen? Yeah, 100% cotton. They're size small. They have an elastic waist. I thought that'd be a great piece for summer. Now we're going to get in. I don't know what the hell was going on at the bins this day. I literally hit one bin that everybody had been through. Um, and all of this stuff was literally under mountains and mountains of clothes. So I think one of my key tips, I did a video on like top 10 tips at shopping at the bins. I'll link it down below. One of my key tips, friends, is go to the bottom of the bin. Even if you've seen a bin that has been searched through by so many people, if you have the time, go through the entire bin because I found all of this high-end stuff I'm about to show you at the bottom of this mountainous bin that so many people had been through. There were like sheets and like suspicious looking nightgowns on top and I didn't care, I dug in. I found these Philip Lim sandals. They've got like this kind of like metal detail all around the strap. I wish these were my size. They're size 39. They're a hundred percent leather. They're not in the best condition. Like they have some scuffing. They're missing like little pieces of leather here and there, but these are gorgeous. The heels in great condition and I got them from the bin. So who cares? I looked up these retailed for close to 400 bucks and I saw some one that sold in better condition than mine for like $200. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those yet. <laughs> I wish I could squeeze my feet into them. I don't know if I'm going to send them to the real world, if I'm going to send them to thread up. I kind of wonder if all of this stuff, you guys, came from the same person. Because it was in the same bin at the bottom of the bin. I found a pair of Jimmy Choo's. I've never found Jimmy Choo's at the bins. I have found a lot of designer shoes at the bins, but never Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo is just personally one of my favorite higher end shoe designers. I own quite a bit of shoes from them. So, and these are a size 40 and they are my size. They are a really older style. They're patent um, with a peep toe and they do need some heel stops replaced, but I paid like less than five bucks for these. So super excited about that. Then friends, I found this red, Valentino dress. <laughs> this is all in the same bin. And this one is a size, I think it's a size, it's like Italian sizing, right? It's 100% cotton. Oh God, I can't find the size. But I'm pretty sure that this one is like not the original color. I found the stock photo and it looks like maybe someone tried to wash this in the washing machine or something and the colors bled. Cause I don't think the bottom part is supposed to be like this, I was gonna say like weird pink, I don't know. The color just doesn't look right. It makes me a little sad, but I think it was supposed to be white where it looks pink, so. I don't know. A lot of the stuff, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I just can't believe I found all this at the bins. And then a brand I have never found thrifting or at the bins, Rick Owens, super expensive brand, this really pretty open front um, cardigan. It's long sleeve. This brand is very expensive. It gives me lag and look vibes. This was made in Italy. What's the, um, it's a size large. The color is pearl. This is in great condition, you guys. Great condition. I'm probably gonna sell that myself. And then a black label Ralph Lauren blazer in a size eight made in the USA. I might keep this. It's gonna be a little big on me postpartum, but this is perfect for real estate and it feels so good. It's 100% linen. I'm probably gonna keep it, you guys. I don't know. I can't keep everything. It has shoulder pads. Not the biggest fan of shoulder pads. I know they've made a comeback. And then, this is like unbelievable. Self-Portrait, a very trendy, expensive brand. This is a size US 4. I wanna keep this so bad, but I'm not gonna be able to fit into this for a couple months. It's this really pretty white lace detail top. You guys, I might keep this. 
Um, it has some staining on the front, like right here. This is all lace. I don't know if you can see it because the, the lighting is so bright. Um, but I could easily get that out. I might keep that too. I can't keep everything. I can't keep everything. Then I found this Michael Kors jeans. What size are these? Oh no, it doesn't have the size. Well, these Michael Kors jeans, they do have some staining on the back. They are straight leg, they are distressed, you know, all the signs of jeans that are like not really in right now, but somebody may want them. What size are they? Size two and smaller size, but I might sell those myself or send them to thread up found this really nice Nike sweatshirt. I really like this a lot. It's Nike Air, it's a sweatshirt. But what's cool about it is it has like this zip on the side. And it is a size small, but this is really oversized. I'm gonna sell that myself. It just keeps getting better. I haven't even gotten to some of my favorite. This is flax. This is a size, oh, this is missing a size. I love selling flax. It's a very lagging look. A lot of times they use like 100% linen, 100% cotton. Um, it's a dress. I remember thinking, oh no, it doesn't have the size. Yeah, the size tag is missing, but I'm just gonna put measurements. And it, I think it's like a medium large. It's really nice. It feels like 100% um, cotton and it has pockets. So I'll sell that myself. I have never found this much high-end stuff at one time at the bins. This is Donna Karen made in Italy and this is 55% linen, a 45% silk blazer. It's a size... Why are so many of these things missing the size tag? I feel like this all came from one woman and she like hated size tags or something. Cause they're all ripped out. So, um, beautiful peach colored long, what, is this a blazer or a coat? Should I keep this? No, this isn't really my style. I will keep, I probably will keep the self portrait and the Ralph Lauren blue blazer, but um, Donna Karen made in Italy. I looked it up. Donna Karen, New York made in Italy pieces retail for a lot and can resell for a lot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. That one I have to think. And then friends, I have no idea if this is authentic. I'm going to get it authenticated. A Gucci wallet that is beat to shreds. Like it has some pen marks on the inside. Um, it's got like staining, but I think it still has a lot of life left. It has a zipper, it has pockets, it has a ton of places to put your cards. The Gucci logo is still in really good condition, and then it snaps really well. So I'll probably, what I'm going to do with this is get this authenticated and probably sell it on one of my like Poshmark Lives. This is a good um, kind of like carrot to get people into my lives. You put like $3.00. Um, luxury auction. I know not all of you are live sellers, but I'm just giving you some tips. If you are, um, yeah, it brings a lot of people to your shows. It brings a lot of attention to your closet. Uh, people do it on whatnot. People will do it on Poshmark Live. So I'll get this authenticated and start it at like a $3 auction and it sells for what it sells for. Um, but I've never found Gucci. Have I ever found Gucci at the bins? I don't, have I ever, I have found Gucci at the thrift store. I'm not going to lie to you. I do have an advantage uh, of living in LA. I do find a lot of high-end stuff at thrift stores, but not at the bins and never like this, never at one time. So when I tell you this is one of my best bins haul, I don't just mean because of the high-end stuff. I mean, because I found silk, I found cotton, I found 100% linen. I found some of my favorite mall brands to resell that I know are gonna sell in a couple months. And I found Gucci and Jimmy Choo and Philip Lim and self-portrait. I have never found self-portrait thrifting, ever, anywhere. And I've thrifted across the country. If you've been here for a long time, you know that. So this was great, friends. I hope you enjoyed. Um, welcome to the family, all of my new subscribers. I'm just, I usually catch you guys on stuff, catch you up on stuff at the end. Probably the next video you see, I will have given birth. I don't know. I'm going on like a filming rampage before I give birth. So I will post on Instagram when baby boy gets here and I'll probably give you guys an update here on the community tab. 
Um, if you're interested in anything, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's like, I have this whole haul listed. I sure don't, girlfriend or boyfriend. I won't have this stuff listed for a while. Like, I'm just being really honest with you. My, I have a virtual assistant that lists like 20 to 30 items a day for me. And she already has 150 items to get listed for the week. So I probably won't send this to her for quite some time. So I'm not going to lie to you. This stuff probably won't be listed in my Poshmark closet for like two weeks after you see this video. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to film the thumbnail. Oh, I have this Hulkin bag in here. This is not sponsored. I bought uh, two of the Hulkin bags with my own money because they kept stalking me on Instagram with the ads. They know I'm a reseller. They know who to promote their stuff to. I love this thing. I've heard resellers talk about it for years. Um, it was sold out for months, you guys. And I finally got it, I think, on a Black Friday. So I've had it for months now. I'm filming this in May. I bought it Black Friday sale 2022. I love them. I bought two. This is the large one. I don't know if you can tell how big. It's large. And then I have a small one. My mom's used it. She loves it. My fiance uses it. He loves it. They're just great. They break down really easily. They have wheels. They have the straps so you can carry stuff. I've taken it to the bins and people were like, where did you get that? Like, it's expensive. I think this one, I think both of them together, I paid like 150 or 170. So it's expensive. But if you have the money to invest and you carry a lot of stuff like I do and you're moving inventory, um, if you're new here, I don't store my inventory. I have about 1,200 active listings between Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, um, so I store all my stuff in a storage unit. So I'm constantly moving stuff from my house to storage, from storage to my house, to my SUV. So these things have been a lifesaver. If I can, I'll link them down below. They're always sold out. I wish this was sponsored. Hulkin, if you'd like to sponsor me, I'd be a great sponsor for you because I bought your bags and I love them. So, all right, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed. I've got some more thrift hauls coming at you and a ton of brand videos coming at you. And I will see you soon.